This is my WooCommerce checkout page. I'm logged in and my role is administrator. All four payment methods are activated for me. But now this is a logged out user and this person only can use a direct bank transfer payment method. So if you didn't figure out already, in this video I'm going to show you how to hide the payment methods based on user roles. It's gonna take only a couple of minutes to achieve this and best of all you can do this without any extra plugin, whether it's premium or free. So if you're interested then jump in. Okay, first things first, go to the plugins and add new. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but I suggest you to search for a plugin called Code Snippets. This one here. If you install and activate it, you don't have to mess with the modifying your team files. But if you're comfortable with modifying your team's functions PHP file, you don't have to do that. But keep in mind, if you switch Steam, then you're going to lose all the modification you have done. But with the help of the code snippets plugin, all the modifications are still there. So install it, activate it. Next, go to snippets and add new. And now I'm gonna show you a couple of scenarios. First, I want to enable the direct bank transfer only for customers, shop managers and administrators. All other users, whether they are logged in or not, they cannot use a direct bank transfer. In order to achieve this, I'm gonna give it a title, for example, hide bags, and now paste this here. Couple of things for you to point out first. These are the roles here who are allowed to access this payment method. So customers, administrators and shop managers they are allowed to use this method here. Now, how can you find out what should you enter here? Go to WooCommerce settings, open up payments. And now if you hover on it, you'll see here down bottom, or if you open it up, then up here, this is a payment method name. So backs, if I want to disable the check payment, then it's this one here. So I disable backs, enter it here and here. Now let's save changes and activate. So let's test it out. I'm gonna go and open up the private view. I'm gonna go to the site, add something to the cart, go to checkout, I'm logged out and there is no direct bank transfer for me. But if I open up the site as logged in administrator, Go to checkout, there it is. So it's for customers, administrators and shop managers. Next scenario, maybe you want to disable the cash and delivery for logged out users or, or subscribers. So only the customers, administrators, shop administrators and other roles can use it. So go to the snippets. I'm gonna deactivate this one here, add new snippet, give it a title, for example, hide cash on delivery, and paste this snippet here. Once again, this is the payment method name. You can see it here, cash on delivery, COD up here. And there is said, if the role is a subscriber or user is logged out, then disable this payment method. So let's save and activate it and let's test it out. I'm going to open up the private view once again. Go to the checkout. And there is no cash on delivery, but there is direct bank to transfer because we deleted it a minute ago. But if I want to deactivate also the direct bank transfer, I can do by activating the previous snippet. For example, I'm gonna add this one here, save it, refresh this one here, and there is only, only check payments and PayPal. Okay, next one, I'm gonna delete all those here, and I'm gonna hide the PayPal, check payments, and cash on delivery for shop manager role. 
So if your role is shop manager, you cannot use the PayPal check or cash on delivery. I'm gonna go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, for example, hide payment methods for shop manager. So I'm gonna paste this one here. And a couple of things to point out here. Here goes the role, shop manager. If we want to hide for any other role, for example, customer, go ahead and change it. And here are the three payment methods I'm gonna disable for this user role. PayPal, check and COD. Once again, where can you get it? Let's open up the PayPal here and there it is. Now let's save it and activate it. And now let's test it out by logging in with the shop manager user role. Okay, so private view again. Let's go to the my account page. Logging in. Go to the cart. And there you go, only direct bank transfer for this user role. No PayPal, check or cash and delivery. If I change it to the customer user role and save it, if I refresh it, once again, I'm logged in as a shop manager, all the payment methods are back. Now, as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to achieve. And therefore, if you find this tutorial helpful and you want to support me, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. But before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.